Leave and Cert Higher Level Maths 2023. This is the solution video to paper one, question five. So question five is a functions and calculus question. Uh, part A, we're asked to find a derivative of the function f of x, where f of x is equal to one over five x squared plus seven. So the way you do that is you rewrite it as f of x is equal to 5x squared plus 7 to the power of minus 1 and then you can just do it as a little chain rule so f prime of x is equal to minus 1 times 5x squared plus 7 to the power of minus 2 multiplied by 10x it asks you to give your answer in its simplest form so you are required to simplify that down and that will be minus 10x over 5x squared plus 7 all to the power of 2. And that little question there, part A of this question 5, will actually get you 15 marks out of the 30 available for that question in total. So very generous um, marks in part A. Part B is a little bit harder. We're given a new function. Uh, g of x is equal to tan of x over 2 times the natural log of x. Find the value of g prime of pi over 2. So basically we need to differentiate it and then let x equal to pi over 2 and give our answer in the form of a plus natural log of b. So um, this is a product rule. So we'll start off saying u is equal to tan of x over 2 and v is equal to the natural log of x. So if we find du dx, then the derivative of tan of x over two. So derivative of tan of x over two is secant squared x over two times a half. So it'll be a half secant squared x over two. And then the derivative of natural log of x is one over x. So dv dx is equal to one over x. So then my derivative g prime of x is equal to the product rule. So it's u dv dx plus v du dx. So that's going to be tan of x over 2 times 1 over x plus v du dx natural log of x times a half secant squared x over 2. Now uh, for this then you, you don't really need to simplify right now we can just go and sub in pi over 2 for x straight away and simplify as we go so g prime of pi over 2 so if we sub in pi over 2 here and pi over 2 here that would be tan of pi over 2 over 2 times 1 over pi over 2 plus the natural log of pi over 2 times a half secant squared pi over 2 over 2. And then that simplifies down to give us a tan of pi over 2 over 2 is 1 and 1 over pi over 2 is 2 over pi. So that simplifies down nicely. And then the natural log of pi over 2, um, we can leave like that for a moment. A half secant squared pi over 2 over 2 simplifies down to a half times 2, which is just 1. So that's actually there. That's just 1. So that's plus ln pi over 2. And the formula we want is a log b so that's equal to 2 over pi plus ln natural log of pi over 2. So that was a tricky part there part b and um, it was only worth five marks in the end so anybody who got those five marks will probably have gotten high marks overall in the exam. On to part c um, an easy finish to this uh, question I think. So you're given this diagram of functions uh, where you have numbers going to uh, symbols and then going to, to letters. So this is um, the function f, this is the function g in the sets a, b and c. Find the value of 
the G after F of 3. So you just need to follow it. So if you do the F of 3, you end up with the planet. And then if you do the G, you end up with W. So that's the answer. G of F of 3 is equal to W. And then in the second part, explain why the G mapping B to C is injective but not surjective. So G, why is this injective but not surjective? That is, it's one to one but not onto. So it's injective because the elements in B go to individual outcomes in C. So this goes to Z, this goes to W, this goes to X. So I would write down elements in B go to individual outcomes in C. And then why is it not surjective? Well, it's not surjective because the whole codomain is not used. You can see that y is not used. So we can just say y is not used. Or you could say that the range is not equal to the codomain. So that question there, part C, um, again, was probably a very generous 10 marks out of the 30 for that one. So if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.